Hey there everyone, this is Junior Wong from the Binary Lab and in this uh, video I'm going to be talking about the things you need to know if you've actually had thoughts about going pro or going let's say full-time uh, in your binary options trading. So uh, this video is one of the one of the requested videos from one of our members and actually uh, more than a couple of members in fact who have been entertaining thoughts about you know like uh, you know leaving their job to trade full-time. So uh, if you ever thought of leave, uh, leaving your job to trade binary options full time, one of the things I want to tell you about that you can look forward to is the life, the the lifestyle freedom. Okay, the lifestyle freedom of being able to you know take off for vacations or interstate travel or even just a road trip over the weekend. Um, you know, not worrying about having to return late on a Monday because sometimes you know if you know how it is going interstate. Sometimes when you come back on a on a Sunday night uh, or pushing Monday, you know, uh, and sometimes you have to call in for words. Hey, I'm going to be late, and your boss like, "What's that? You're 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 you're, you're not you're, one more time, and you're fired." You know, so you ever get kind of that thing. So, uh, one of the things you can look forward to is lifestyle freedom, time freedom, uh, to be able to do, uh, to be able to do this anytime, anytime you want, and uh, apart from you know the the hours that you shouldn't be trading, of course, like the lunch hours, and you have a lot of uh, time and movement freedom where you can be trading from just about anywhere you want so, uh, and for those of you who are parents if you are looking forward to going to trade full-time I think it's uh, it's one of the best joys to be able to be very involved in your children's uh, upbringing and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a big joy to you know to to be around for the kid uh, let's say if you haven't had time um, or you felt as, as though that you know for the last couple of years your children haven't really had a chance to get know to get to know you. Uh, I think this is a perfect time where you can make that change in your life. So uh, for those of you um, who are looking into this, uh, who are looking at going pro as an option, there are a couple of things that you need to know about, and I want to list a couple of points to you today. And so once again, if this makes sense to you, I hope you uh, go ahead and comment. And if you find the thing the things I'm about to share with you helps you and makes sense to so go ahead and share this video as well. So first and foremost, right, when if you're having thoughts about uh, if you're having thoughts about going pro, like trading full time, you need to be already live trading. Okay, so you cannot you cannot possibly be like demo trading uh, mostly in live trading only a little bit and expecting to go live. You need to be already live trading. Okay, and if you've already been live trading, you need to be having a trading plan. Okay, a trading plan is basically uh, such as you know how much profits you plan to make per day, and I would like you to be able to uh, you know print out. Uh, you can actually, uh, I'll, I'll probably uh, you know do this on the screen in a while, where I can give you a website where you can actually print out a daily profit target, uh, and then with that you can actually you know print it out on paper and use your marker to cross out. When you've achieved it for every day, so let's say if you started out uh, with a certain balance, okay, then and you let's say five percent on on five hundred per day is going to be uh, sorry five five percent of five hundred bucks is going to be like twenty five dollars a day. So every day that you achieve that goal, you cross it out, you cross it out, you cross it out, and then the next week because your account would have grown to six hundred ish, uh, you know your 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 trading goal per day for the the next week is going to be higher. It's going to be around somewhere around thirty. So you cross it out, you cross it out, and cross it out. So this is uh, the trading plan that I'm talking about that you need to have, okay? So uh, like I mentioned, you need to be live trading. That's the first thing. Secondly, you need to be having a trading plan. The third thing that you need, uh, if you want to go pro, is that you need to have a habit of regular withdrawals. So um, if you're looking at turning pro in your trading, I would appreciate that by now at this point of time, or let's say until until you've already done uh, two or three consecutive withdrawals, then you should be looking at going pro. Until then, you're not actually ready to do it yet. So, uh, you know, make your plan and, uh, you know, how about make your plan as of today. For those of you who are really interested in going full time with your trading, uh, let's set a plan. Okay, how about one month from now? Let's look at making your first withdrawal. Okay, and then, um, and and let's say when your account is still small, you can be looking at doing uh, once a month withdrawals. But as your account grows, you can be looking at doing twice a month withdrawals. And how is it? Uh, how would that be for you if you had payday twice a month? Wouldn't that be awesome? Because I understand that most companies only pay their employees once a month. 
But now you're going to, uh, in, in, let's say in one or two months from now, when your account becomes uh, a considerable size, you will be able to get paid twice a month. Wouldn't that be quite awesome? And then uh, when your account continues to grow, then you're going to be looking at making a weekly withdrawal. Okay, weekly withdrawal is also very good for various reasons because uh, let's be honest, in trading, um, we never know when we're going to get into the over trading syndrome. Although I have many mindset videos about this, which you can refer to in my channel as well. Uh, as a matter of fact, you should be looking at my other mindset video about why people constantly lose money in trading. Because I think that's very, very good for your for your trading education. And when you do that, uh, you know, then 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 you know this video coming back to here is gonna help you out in a great way. So anyway, uh, what else what I was saying, um, when you when you uh, if you're gonna withdraw, that's also gonna help you because sometimes you make a mistake, and then you can actually fund back into your account to bring up to a certain level again. Uh, so look in look forward to let's say how about this, okay? Let's look towards making our first withdrawal one month from now, and in three times in three months from now, how about let's look at getting withdrawals, getting paid twice a month, okay? And in six months' time, would it be a good goal that you can aim to get paid four times a month? Would that be an awesome goal, okay? So when you have this in mind, okay, once again, live trading. Secondly, you want to be having a trading plan. Thirdly, uh, you want to have regular withdrawals. And then the next thing that you want to do is that you want to obviously set aside some disaster money okay what what does disaster money mean disaster money means that um, you know for about 20% of a year okay 20% of a year the market is gonna be quite different it, this can I, 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 I find it quite difficult to explain this phenomena but every year uh, about 20% of the time the conditions in the market will be fairly untradeable to the methods that you know. So uh, for this year, it was because of the US elections when Donald Trump was coming to power. Um, in, in previous year, it could be the, you know, the Eurozone uh, tensions, okay? And then uh, sometimes it could be Brexit. Uh, so there's a lot of factors that could, could trigger the market to behave abnormally for a period of months or weeks, or you know, a, a, a scatter of weeks over a couple of months. So you need to be able to prepare yourself for being able to stay outside of the markets, maybe go on an unpaid vacation. So I would think that let's say if you can plan to take two months off a year, I think that would be a very, very good plan. So based on based on this, okay, based on all these things that I've mentioned and this disaster money as well. So you need to basically structure yourself, uh, structure your trading uh, income goal and income trading plan um, to be to be one that can one that you're actually going to be working only ten months in a year, but able to last you the full year. Okay, let's say if we were stuck to a straight twenty percent, it's going to be probably about two and a half months. Okay, so you can actually afford to take about two and a half months of break. And for those of you out there. Um, you know, wouldn't it be a wouldn't it be a great idea if you could actually have about seventy days of annual leave? All right, would that be awesome for you? And and uh, so let's say coming back into coming back into this. All right, uh, let's talk about the final element. All right, the final element to this whole thing is going to be your account size. Uh, your account size. Just a moment. <clears throat> Sorry, that was my son. It was just kind of bothering me. So, uh, uh, where was I? So, coming back to account size. When it comes to your account size, uh, why is this important? It's because I personally feel that no one should be trading more than... Uh, no one should be having to trade more than three hours a day to reach this trading goal. The reason for that is because, um, like, I personally take only about on average on average 11 trades per day okay so um, and, and that that is uh, and, and, and let's say if someone is taking about um, 
and I personally spend about maybe one and a half hour a day in total trading. So I, I give myself a very leisurely one and a half hour to find what 11 trades. Sometimes I do that in less time, sometimes I take about one and a half. Most, mostly less, but sometimes, you know, maybe the max I go is about two hours. And why this is very important is because if let's say if your account balance is very small, that means that in order to reach your target, okay, obviously you need to know what is your lifestyle cost, what is your, uh, what is your current sal, what's the current salary that you need to replace, or let's say if you're current, if you're currently feeling underpaid in your job, then you need to have your account size to be something that is, uh, you know, that is substantial enough to give you, uh, you know, to give you a fairly uh, reasonable daily earning, so that you wouldn't have to be sacrificing your time for money okay so uh, in trading the thing is this is either you use is either you have money or it's either you have time so if you have more money you can spend less time safely trading safely trading I mean that trading 1% at per time okay uh, in in other video I'll be talking about money management uh, my students in binary lab know very well about money management uh, because I've been showing them in day-to-day -day examples on a webinar for example like this week this week has been a very challenging week with uh, uh, the timings that we've been scheduling the webinar. I mean, I try to schedule my webinars during the times when people can see very good market activity. But unfortunately for this week, uh, for two of the, the sessions that we've held so far, it has been fairly challenging. So uh, these kind of challenging situations are the ones, are the kind of days that, I mean, no doubt we get away with a, a small profit or let's say, um, you know, but the thing is that even even though getting out with a profit, let's say two net wins or three net wins, okay, uh, that would be after a, 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 some, a, a mixture of win and loss, win and loss, win and loss. And and the thing is this, when you trade uh, for a long period of time, you will realize that, hey, you know, that makes sense. What Julian is saying makes sense because, uh, you know, there will, be, there will be certain days or weeks where you find that it's very, very easy to trade and make money again and again and again. But at the same time, there's going to be the days where you wonder and you, you kind of literally bite your fingers and I've, I've actually picked up uh, a nail biting habit um, a couple of months back when I, when I was actually um, leading webinars in the period of time during the like uh, Brexit debates where it was causing the market to be very abnormal. So um, you don't want to be doing that for three hours a day and it's a lot of stress, it's an unnecessary stress. What you want to have is that, like I said, if you watch my previous video about what makes an accurate trader, um, you know, it's going to be about uh, the method, the correct market entry, and as well as the appropriate expiry time for the trade. But sometimes when you feel that you have done everything required to get all these three elements right, there will be the days when the, when, you know, the market is just not cooperating with you. And on those days, you want to be able to take a little bit of a break. So that's why I say disaster, disaster fund, set yourself aside for two and a half months of no work in a year. So two and a half months a year, you can actually do other things. So let's plan. I, I don't know where you come from. If you guys are watching this video right now, let me know which countries you're watching this from so that I can, uh, and, and, and what, what is a fairly reasonable monthly wage so that I can know, uh, you know, I can help you do some planning over here. All right. So. Uh, if, if some people out there will go ahead and comment below in the next couple of moments, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you uh, a little bit of a financial plan on, 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 on this, uh, on, you know, on, on my screen right here so you can actually check it out and, uh, and, and I can give you a kind of a plan to work on. Uh, so what is, okay, what do you need to do to get, okay, I, I'm not talking about getting, getting by, all right, because obviously everyone can just get by. Uh, what I want you to do is to, to be able to lead a fairly, uh, a fairly, you know, higher quality life. And I would say, I think for most people, uh, a fairly higher quality life would be about twice of what you're already getting as, a, as an employee. But let's start with how about 50% more than your current, uh, your current income, or let's say that 50% more than your average income, what would that be? Okay, so Giuliano Lee says about 5K a month would be something that he could, he could do uh, you know, f uh, you know, to to uh, he, he, he will live on. Uh, okay, New Zealand it's fifteen hundred. Well, as you can see, Singapore is fairly expensive. Mark a while ago he said one k in the in the UK. Uh, what, uh, so 
any 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 other of you guys i want to hear where there's a guy from uae what is the kind of cost of living in uae okay two thousand per week okay that, that's uh okay and and uh for those people watching this video i want to hear from you um you know how much plan how much time you have planned to set aside in your daily trading because uh, if you are trading, if, if you are trading like uh, a small account, then you have to trade many hours in order to make a certain amount of income, and it's no doubt it's a lot of stress. And obviously, the more uh, the more trades that you make exposes you to more risk. So, uh, so let's say, uh, okay, UAE. What what is the what is a monthly average income over there in UAE? I'm I'm very curious, cousin. Could you tell me about that? Okay, two thousand pounds a month, two thousand a week. Uh, Kasim, I'm I'm interested if you could tell me in the UAE what is it? If if you commented, I'm gonna scroll up a bit. Okay, no, I don't really have that. Um, I'm interested to know. Like anyway, for those of you who are watching this video, wherever you're from, uh, let me know what's about fifty percent more than your, than your the average income that. That people most people get or let's say what what would make you comfortable to get okay 2500 okay cool so um if that's the case i i would personally think that uh most people would sh shouldn't be spending more than three hours a day training because uh i think two hours is probably the best because that way you're not you're gonna give yourself fairly little fairly little stress or rather like you know for me when i trade realistically speaking right uh, someone ever asked me a question, what is my refractory period? Okay, a refractory period basically means that once I, when, when I'm trading, uh, how much, after I finish a session, how much time do I need to, to kind of like uh, uh, chill out before I can become productive again? Okay, so uh, for me, it takes about, it takes about like, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll either play sport or, or I would, I would, um, you know, uh, take a take a beer or so, and and slowly finish uh, uh, a can of beer. Or I would, I would, uh, I would vape, or perhaps I would uh, play a a racing game on my on my phone. Uh, it takes me about an hour. So, um, factoring in this refractory time basically means that for one hour of trading, I need uh, one hour refractory time. So if I trade two hours a day, I'll need. I need two hours of refractory time, so that actually about four. That takes about four hours a day. Four hours a day, uh, and then the rest of the time I can do whatever I want. But I need at least four hours a day. Uh, one hour to trade, one hour to recover. One hour to trade, one hour to recover, recover. So that keeps me productive because without the recovery, you know, I, I I don't realistically think that I can do back to back. So let's say if you're trading one hour, give yourself a, a tea break and then come back and trade again. All right. So something like that, or do one in the morning, one in the afternoon. And that way, at least you have a better lifestyle. No point in stressing yourself out, right? So, uh, let's say um, I think a lot of people are talking about a lot of people are talking about uh, let's say two. I think I think six. Let's 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 aim about for six thousand six thousand a month. Uh, and I would think that for six thousand a month, I think you should be basically you should be starting with your accounts with your uh for one, one hour's worth of trading you should be you should be tra you should be starting your account with the same amount as what you need to make in a month so let's say uh very safely at least even if you fall short by a little you wouldn't be falling short by too much so let's say um you know i've just started this um, a lot of students were asking me to trade with a small account to show them how to trade a small account and uh is they felt that's something that they can relate to, and I'm currently on a challenge to build a one thousand dollar account into a ten thousand dollar account. Okay, by the way, I just want to tell you that this is not enough to obviously feed my lifestyle, but um, I mean I, I have cash, and at the same time, uh, I want to actually highlight to you the fact that it's only been about ten days, and this account is already about seventeen hundred. Okay, so from from ten thousand, uh, so from one thousand to seventeen hundred on fairly safe trading. So seventy percent. 70% up in about 10 days. And I think that's that's pretty decent. Um, you know, I think very safely speaking, using a very uh, very conservative strategy, using just 1% risk per trade. You can just, just assume, okay, a one a doubling of the account every month. Okay, so let's start with, um, with let's say, let's start with, you know, the goal that most people have. I think 6,000 would be fairly good. So 
let me key in something over here. I'll put a put a put a website link that you could, you could use. All right, if you guys could go to a site, I'll just take it down, okay? Uh, this site is called the binarylab.net uh, slash calculator. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna bring you to an uh, income calculator page, okay? Uh, the binarylab.net slash calculator. It's not, it's not actually on my page, but it's just, I'm just linking it to somewhere else. So uh, what I wanna show you is, let's say, let's, let's actually work out these, these figures, okay? Uh, I'm just going to punch in some numbers first and then I'm going to take the camera off the stand and, and put it on my screen so you can see. Okay, so um, let's work on a very comfortable interest rate of... We usually do about 5, but let's let's just talk about 4%. How about that? And then um, let's do a 3-month trading plan. A 3-month trading plan would be... Uh, in, but I said by 3 months, you'd be looking to withdraw uh, profits, get paid twice a month. Okay. And then, um, obviously, because you're looking to get paid, maybe we're only going to reinvest about 50%. So, um, if you reinvest about 50% uh, per month, because you want to take out 50% and you reinvest, right? So, uh, let's just re do that. And uh, Okay, let's make this just a Monday to Friday calculation, because I, I believe there's a certain number of people want to take the weekends off. A payment schedule as well. 90 days. All right. <clears throat> All right. This is this is fairly good. Well done. Yeah, my daughter came to show me that she just finished dinner. All right. So anyway, this is a compounding calculator, and what we've done is I punch in the the the, the various values. Notice it is USD, but I mean, you may be from a different country, just assume this is your local currency. And I think that 6,000 <coughs> is generally a fairly good sum to work at, okay? So uh, let's look at 4% per day and over uh, three months, okay? Because I always believe that three months is a very good way to planning a goal. And uh, we're gonna be doing this from Mondays to Fridays, and we're gonna compound 50%, and I'm gonna show the payment schedule, okay? so. Um, Basically, at the end of ninety days, uh, you would have accumulated, you would have accumulated a, t a, a total amount of profit. Okay, profit is thirty thousand six hundred eighteen. So this actually works out to about ten thousand per month. Um, I mean that's that's actually more than what you wanted, right? So obviously, it doesn't come out straight away that much, but it comes out in your in your in your total ledger. Okay, and then your total principal plus profit. Uh, your deposit plus profit will be at thirty six thousand. So you have about uh thirty k of spare cash after three months. Uh, this is this is based on three uh, four percent per day. Let's say if you want to if you want to work a little bit less hard, okay. So let's say <clears throat> let's just aim conservative, okay. Conservative would be nineteen thousand and let's say twenty five thousand, slightly less twenty five thousand. Uh. Deposit plus profit, so you got nineteen thousand profit, and this works out to about just about six k a month. That's not bad as well, isn't it? Um, but let's just go with the four the four percent example, and now I'll, I'll show you what kind of goals you need to look at <clears throat> per per day. Okay, so this is a payment schedule. <clears throat> so, um, how are we gonna do this? <clears throat> how are we gonna achieve a daily interest? Very good. How are we going to in take the daily interest of, of this amount? So, uh, it's kind of simple. Let's say, as you know, like over here, this is like the, the trading platform, right? And uh, let's say, if I had a 6,000 6, balance, my per trade size is going to be at $60. Alright, $60 per trade for 1% risk. And if I... If I um, if I put in sixty dollars for a trade, I would be getting fifty one dollars, fifty one point six, um, fifty one point six uh, profit. Okay, so in order to get about two hundred and forty, I need, I need about um, five, I need about uh, five winning, I need about five winning trades. So 
there'll be there'll be a two fifty in fact. Two fifty five five I need a five net per day. Five net per day. So I could do a three net wins in the morning, three net wins in the afternoon and all good. Or maybe I could do uh two net wins in the afternoon and two three net wins at night. Or I could do one net win in the morning, one net win two net wins in the afternoon and two two net wins at night. So that would would that make sense? Would that would that take a lot of pressure off from you? So you can split it out to throughout the day. It's not really that difficult because if you if you learn from uh, binary lab, I mean like the way the the way that I teach it, I you know I when I do a webinar, I I always make a goal. Let's do three to four net net wins. And after achieving three to four net wins, and the market is still good, I tell my students if you see something that's totally irresistible, then um, I will I will I will go out and. You know, I'll, I'll go out and take the trade as well. Okay, um, I'll, I'll type out the website right after this one because it's not very convenient to type right now. Or let's say after I do. But let me show you the payment schedule, okay? So, let me tell you what happens, okay? So, let's say after your day one, after your day one, your your balance uh, would be at 6,120. And why 6,120? What happened to the 120 bucks? I must, this is assuming that you've already decided to pay yourself 120 bucks. So on the first day of your trading, uh, you're actually setting aside 120 bucks. And 120 bucks is, is uh, helping you to re uh, recap your balance. Okay, so basically when I scroll down uh, toward the bottom of the page, by the time we have the balance of about 12k, right? By the time about, uh, you know, about one and a half month in one and a half month in you already have recouped your your capital and everything else is just pure 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 profit okay and <clears throat> let me tell you what happens on day two okay day two if you're using my approach uh, of course you can up uh, you can compound it um, a lot more aggressively if you want but here's what you're gonna do day one all your trades are gonna be at $60 per day and then on day two what's gonna change is that your trades are going to be at 60 day two your trades are going to be at 61 dollars a day day three your trades are going to be 62 dollars a day and and that does i mean that may not sound like a lot but that does wonders because each time you do that your account increases okay and then when you go into your second month okay let's count first week second week third week fourth week fifth week okay fifth week when your account is already at um at this amount, eight thousand five hundred sixty-nine. Uh, then you're going to be doing eighty-five dollar trades, eighty-five dollar trades, uh, and this actually makes you seventy-three dollars per trade. And if you get five of these trades per day, that makes you about three hundred, three hundred and sixty, three hundred sixty dollars a day. Three hundred sixty dollars a day. Um, you save, you save, uh, you put aside one one eighty, and you take out one eighty if if you if you felt like it. Um, and and how do you how do you get that? Once again, you trade. You take one trade in the morning, one trade in uh, uh, one trade in the afternoon, maybe two at uh, three at night. So split it out. Five trades a day. Five net five net wins. And then <clears throat> and then let's uh let's go down the picture. And then this is super exciting because on the final week of your trading, you're actually looking at about a a much bigger account. And you're going to be making like a hundred and ninety dollar trades. It's hard to visualize right now, but when I give you a payment schedule, and you guys can go to the same website after this and print it out, and uh, <clears throat> you can print out the day schedule, and you can you can check it off when, when you're when you're trading and, and do this. So at hundred and ninety, you're going to get paid uh, hundred and sixty three dollars forty cents profit for every winning trade that you make. And if you do that five times in a day, that's eight hundred. Not uh, not bad at all. I mean, like for most people, I think the last week of three months, if you stick to this trading plan, is going to be the last week alone is going to be equal to your current month's uh, income, if not more. So, but the key, like I said, okay, let me put this back on the let me put this back on the stand. All right. So. Uh, the key is that I mean this is the training plan, but aside from this, there are many things that you need to know. 
such as like when if you're going to be trading full time you cannot possibly thank you raymond that is the correct link so if you are trading if you're trading full time and you want to do this pro uh you got to give up a couple of things okay you got to give up um over trading you got to give up chasing trades you got to give up deep martingales okay and if you can give up these three things oh there's a fourth thing contests because I know some of the brokers they have contests where you can you can uh, compete for highest turnover but the fact that you have highest turnover doesn't mean that you're the highest profit right so these are like baits for you to lose money and lose accuracy because a lot of people when they try to trade a lot uh, they end up losing out on accuracy so um, when let, let's go over the, the things that I mentioned again if you're looking to turning pro the first thing that you really need is you need a trading uh, you need a trading plan okay you, and then you need to have uh, s stable results you need to have a you need to have a, a habit of taking money out of the account we want to start looking at quitting your your job only after you had about two or three withdrawals on a regular basis so obviously take a regulator broker and do that and then <clears throat> uh, then basically that comes into all the other things that I mentioned including like an, a, an amount as well you need to be, have a realistic starting amount so uh, for those of you who are really looking doing this uh, I know a lot of people that are watching this video um, you know some of you may be fairly new to trading and you you may need more time to fine-tune your trading uh, your your trading results you, you, you may even need to, uh, to spare some time to go into live trading if you're not already doing that because if you're not already live trading I mean all this is just is just you know the plan but you need to actually walk the plan um, but one thing I need to tell you is that money management uh, is something that you really need to learn and you need to watch my other video about losing money uh, if you have not watched that yet because um, like a lot of people have no common sense when it comes to controlling themselves uh, in trading versus when driving. Um, it's funny how uh, wouldn't you agree with me that actually it's really easy to to get a dent on your car when you first start driving, right? In your first one or two years of driving, it's really easy to you know to kind of scrape the, your side door against a, a pillar or uh, uh, or let's say you know. When, when you may you may bang a different vehicle when you try to parallel park, um, but after you've driven for about three or four years or let's say five years and above, um, it's actually amazing. Like when I bought myself uh, my Audi S five, I've not gotten so much as a scratch on my car. Never even scraped the rim since since I ever bought it. So uh, it's it's about uh, two years since having that car, and, and I've never scraped anything on the car at all. I mean, when my dad, uh, my dad was supposed to be a more experienced, uh, my dad was supposed to be a more experienced driver than me. In fact, my, my dad, uh, you know, he he actually did car deliveries for a company before. And when he took my car, he accidentally scraped you know the back the back rim. So I was like, well, what's that about? Uh, but the fact of the matter is, when it's with trading, uh, you know, a lot of people fail to understand that when you're going into when you're going to a period where it's it's hard to trade. Okay. If we're in a car, we're only going to keep our fair distance. We're going to keep like one car length, two car length, so that we will never get an accident or collision. But uh, and then when we're, when we're turning, we're going to signal our turns. But then when we when when we when we trade, you know, are, are we are we looking out for the signals uh, to take a trade or not? Are we or are we turning at will? Are we trading at will? Uh, are we pulling back when the market is is pulling up, or are we still continuing to trade? And let's say after making a couple of losses um, on a bad day, are we stopping to analyze what's going on and to perhaps, uh, you know, uh, let's say refuel ourselves with, with uh, whether it's information on what's happening or let's say revisions to a strategy or are we getting back to the market again? So um, these are the kind of things that you need to think about. And personally, when I'm growing this account, because as a matter of fact, um, like there are uh, there are a lot of people that have been that have been messaging me. I want to see your six months trading history. I want to see your <clears throat> um, 
I want to see your one year's training, training statement. So, so I was like, okay, fine, you know. Um, I had I had bigger accounts before this uh, accounts that have grown from small balance, not not actually small, but let's say from I had an account that I grew from thirty k to uh, one point close to two million. Okay, basically, um, that, that was with uh, that was with G option, and then subsequently I had another account at twenty four option when I when I grown from like uh, ten thousand into the last. The last check was about eight hundred thousand uh, in about eight months. Um, and however, one thing I admit is that on two of these accounts, uh, when I traded, some some of the times I put in really really big trades, twenty thousand trades, fifty uh, k trades even. And when I was making those trades, I was thinking, you know, heck, this is this is this is like bonus money. This is. Um, this is money that I'm, I'm well in a profit and it wouldn't kill me if I was I was back at where I was at the beginning of this month so as a result you know my trading history was uh, I would say it's not very systematic but with this account all right what I'm doing here is that I've given myself a few very tight rules and so should you if you're looking to go pro you need to give yourself rules something like this okay um, you need to tell yourself you need to give yourself a fixed amount of net wins per day. Okay, for me, four is good, five is good. Um, and then secondly, secondly, the next thing you need to to uh, tell yourself is that um, you know, for me, I tell myself no chase, no chasing trades. And for me, when I, for example, what does that mean? When I martingale, uh, I only martingale once. And if I lose that one, if I lose that, if I lose that trade, I don't martingale again. Okay, so I give myself a rule of no martingaling more than once. So what happens if I lose a trade? If I see that it hits a nice level on a Fibonacci, and a lot of indicators tell me that I'm probably going to get get it on the next entry, then what I'll probably do is that I'll take the martingale amount and go in for the trade again. Which means to say that my third trade will cover my second trade, and I am I'm actually happy to lose my first trade. So it's like one, two, and two. You get it? So typically in a morning girl, people go like one, two, four, eight, and so and so on, fourth, right? So for me, I go one, two, and two. And if the market is bad, if let's say I lost, uh, if I lost a trade that I felt that I should have won in the first place, my second trade is going to be of the same size as the first, so that my second trade will cover my first trade. And on my third trade onward, if that third trade wins, I'm in profit only from my third trade onward. So these are the kind of adaptions that I've made. Well, I totally agree with you. If you feel that, you know, if, if I could just money go, you, you must be thinking that uh, with the kind of small broker sizing that, uh, small trade sizing that, that some of the brokers can offer, I can obviously do multiple money girls. And obviously, like, why can't I just talk about the account? But uh, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to set up a very good example and trying to build a very good statement that people can see because with keeping to these trading rules uh, is going to be proof that anyone can literally turn their life around with binary options trading you know if i turn this account from from uh, 1k to 10k and from 10k well i'm, I'm looking at uh, because right now iq option they don't have the really big trade sizes the max trade is like 18k but they don't really have that most of the time most of the time you only see a max trade size of about 6k no more than that so um, if that is the case okay. then uh, I, I can you play in the room please I'm not done yet uh, so let's say where was I uh, okay uh, shit, me, me, mental block can, can you refresh me on what I just said I'll, I'll get to the questions in a bit um, <clears throat> can someone refresh me on where I was at? I just lost my train of thought. What was I talking about? Max trade. Okay, yeah. So, <laughs> thank you, Mark. Um, so for for max trade, like the max trade, like I said, for IQ right now is about is like three uh, k to six k, um, and that is. Yeah, so it's like between one, so I see 1k quite a bit. So that's one of my challenges right now. So let's say uh, I was, they told me that 
they are looking to increase their permanently have increased their maximum trade sizes within three months. And I'm also trying to give them a I'm trying to pressure them into to making it possible for us sooner and uh, and and you know to kind of have less variation in their sizing. I know it's gonna be difficult for them, but I'm gonna to try to I'm pressuring them to be able to do this because a lot of our binding lab traders are are actually looking at doing this um, on, on, on IQ, bigger trades. So um, I'm actually looking for answer, but as of now, where it's at, uh, I think that, you know, I'm looking at growing it again. Once I get to 10K, I'm going to look at growing it to again 50K. And well, if, if I cannot, if I cannot grow it to, if I cannot trade it uh, to 100 on that platform, uh, because of limitation in trade sizing and having to go smaller on my trade sizes, I mean I may have to find somewhere else to do it. But hopefully by then they have a solution. Okay, so um, you know at this point of time, uh, I, I want to just cover some of your questions and uh, Bitcoin. Okay, some of the brokers do accept Bitcoin, and uh, oh, I have good news for you. So let's say, um, Cecil, let's say if you're looking into trading with most of the brokers, most of the brokers actually accept NetPeller and Skrill, which I believe, I, I know for a fact that you can fund NetPeller with Bitcoin, but I'm not sure whether you can fund Skrill with Bitcoin or not. No doubt both are owned by the same company now, but uh, I'm sure that you can fund NetPeller with Bitcoin and you can use that to fund a, a broker account with most of the brokers okay and uh, how many experience do I have okay I've been teaching people how to trade binary options for the past four years and yeah four years about four years and total trading experience why well, I, I, I've been trading stocks since I was 16 Why I left 24 options? Not that I left it, I still have money there. Uh, but I must admit that I'm a little bit disappointed with their migration, although they've worked out their they've worked out some of the glitches in the beginning. Um, what what I personally want is the ability to be able to rapidly enter trades. Because sometimes I I you know I it takes too much time to to edit the trade size. I want to just like have to click and click. In the past well, you have to go through a couple of steps, but I would say now it's still a bit slow. So I, I'm once again I'm pressuring them to have a server upgrade to make things a bit faster. Uh, and uh, if if that is in place, I would I would trade I would trade more over there. But currently, what I plan to do is to to alternate, you know, on a weekly basis. Maybe I'll spend this week on IQ, this week on Twenty Four. What happened on what happened on G options? Did I get paid? I got paid most part of it. In fact, the last withdrawal that I made from them was a million, um, which I totally wasn't expecting to get at all. Unfortunately, I had to say bye bye to another one point six that was still in the account. Okay. <clears throat> Apart from that, it seems that they they they've been selective on who they want to pay because some of our students still get paid, although many of our members having complaints about G option, but some get paid. So I, it appears to me that they want to pay those who have a bit of a social exposure so that these people will be perceived by others and others will think that, oh, this broker is paying, let's join this broker because this guy who's doing big trades is always using that. So I think it's an advertiser gimmick. <coughs> um, okay. And uh, for those of you using the demo on IQ or just want to warn you that uh, the, the demo, I think you can go up to 9999, but, um, but you know, on the live it varies because just now I showed you, the live trade varies. Oh, you're looking to switch from I to IQ from ETX, that's interesting. Um, ETX is also very quick execution um, and uh, in fact, that was one of my choices. I mean, I'm giving like 24 options. They told me to give them a bit more time to to tweak their servers and transfer their hosting and all that to, to use some kind of a cloud cloud flare or what, what not. So I'm not too clear about the details, but uh, they did tell me that they're going to be doing that. So hopefully that's going to that's going to uh, that's going to affect 
uh, how quickly the orders are showing up because right now the, it's, it's a bit it's a bit lagging I must say and uh, I ETX was one of my options so let's say I was thinking that you know if, if I want to trade big um, I might I might actually look at ETX what's the max trade size for ETX uh, refresh me if I, I think I thought it's like 10k right is it 10 or 20 What I need is something that can give me consistent 10k trades. I'm, I'm happy because I, I definitely don't want to be a situation where I take this trade at at, at 10 and the next one I'll take it at 2, 5. Okay, do I get OTC on weekends with IQ? Yes, I do. Uh, I, 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 as a matter of fact, I never had a good impression of OTC in the past, but. Um, based, I, I was trading this Saturday, and, the, the last Saturday and Sunday, and it was actually better than Monday and Tuesday. The trends were, the swings were easy to spot, the trends were very clean, and uh, generally, you know, I I did not even have to do a single martingale uh, on OTC trading uh, over this weekend. You're welcome, Danny. Okay. No, I said daddy, I didn't say daddy. Okay, uh, Amit, hey, Julian, is it possible that 1500 can go to 50k to October following my rules? Um, let's say times two, times two, times two, times one. We have how many months? March. We have, we have March, April, May, June, <clears throat> July, August, September, October. Eight months. Uh, 1.5, 3, 6, 12, 24, 48, 96. It is possible. It, it is possible. Um, yeah, it actually is possible. So I'm, I'm just going on a times two times two. So basically, as your account grows, you can. In fact, yeah, even with withdrawals, I believe you can actually grow 1500 to 50k. Uh, but the thing is that, be disciplined, don't chase trades. Most people never even get there because they get to a point where they're frustrated and they don't know what to do and they start trading emotionally and then they screw it up. So I want, you to, I want you to remind you that in the banks, okay, I have friends working trading for banks. Uh, and quiet please. Um, so I have people trading for banks, uh, and and uh, I mean friends, schoolmates. They trade for banks, and they are, they are required to do X amount of trades per 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 day, and uh, they have strict rules on trade chasing and all that. So if they chase trades, or what they're fired, and then let's say if they do less than a certain number of trades or more than a certain number of trades, they're fired as well. So so these are the kind of rules, right? And let's say if the institutional traders are doing this, why not us? And as a matter of fact, institutional traders get fired as well when they don't perform. So, um, like, there's a lot of responsibility if, for those of you who want to do trading full time, and um, I, I hope that you can learn to do that. And if you feel that, uh, if you feel that you want to explore whether you can do it or not, I encourage you to start an account with a reasonable amount of money. It may not necessarily be a lot, but let's start with maybe about. Uh, can, can you play elsewhere, please? Uh, like half, uh, let's say half of your your target income or a third of your target income. Try and grow that first, and then we and then we'll, we'll try it again after that. You're welcome, Byron. How many hours a day do I trade? I trade. I trade no more than two hours. Mostly, it's just about one and a half. Um, never, okay, bull binary is not bad for, for some of the traders out there who want to trade small and like the spot option interface, uh, however, um, like, let's say, you know, why I wouldn't be using that is because I trade very short term, and if I trade very short term, I, I want a broker that allows me to be able to key in my own amounts. Well, I've spoken to the CEO of the company and he said he's been pushing them to increase the trade sizing, but at the moment it's 500. So that's good for a lot of people who are starting out, 
Uh, but you know, and it's probably good for starting out until you get for twenty k, twenty k in your account. Can I make the reversal method a bit clearer on teaching files? No, master. Yeah, I, I can. As a matter of fact, I, I did a Thai version. Of this. Watch your noise. Uh, what what's your what I recommend the best broker in the UK? It depends on what kind of account that you're looking into. Uh, is it important to you that it's FCA regulated? Is it important to you that it's a local office that you can visit? Um, there are a couple of options that you can look into. Um, right now, I would I would say like ETX or IQ. If you want a physical office, I already told you about the sound. Can you? If you want to play here, you gotta keep your voice down. Or you can play there. Behind, behind this wall. Behind this wall. Behind this wall. Go there now. <coughs> so, um, let's say for the, once again, so the local office, if, if that's important to you, ETX, you can literally go in there, deposit money, take out funds, if, if, if that's your kind of thing. But otherwise, um, I think IQ is pretty good. Uh, trading size wise, ETX, you may get a more stable, bigger trade size for now. So it depends on what kind of account you're doing. If you're doing anything less than 20k, I, I think that IQ is more than good for you. Even less than 30k, IQ probably does the job as well. But uh, if you're looking to do more than 30k, then I would say ETX. Uh, 24, I would, I, I would usually recommend that. But as, as of now, I would say you want to give them a bit more time to beef up the servers to make things quicker. All right. Uh, are there any other questions on uh, like uh, on this kind of a discussion topic about trading full time? I would be happy to take uh, any last question from you guys. All right. And by the way, um, for those people in Binary Lab or looking to join uh, Binary Lab, we are looking into reducing. We are looking into reducing the uh, minimum uh, deposit to get VIP account and IQ offer, so you can get higher payouts. Webinar today is at ten, isn't it? Ten. That's in three hours from now. Yeah, I think so. If I didn't get that wrong, did I get that wrong? Or was I supposed to be teaching now? <clears throat> so yeah, webinars in three hours from now. All right, my battery is running low, and I guess we have to stop. Bye for now. So for anyone who found this video valuable to you, please share. And for those of you who are not already in Binary Lab, what are you waiting for? Join the Binary Lab now. Click the sign up button on top, and I'll see you inside the group.